Hello and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm your host Jag Thunder and this is Minecraft. And this tutorial is a very special one, especially for me, because it is on Better Than Wolves and also Buildcraft. As we know before, the two have not been compatible in the past, and actually they still aren't. But the developers of both mods have come together and created a Better Than Buildcraft mod. And that's basically what this uh, mod tutorial is going to revolve around. And also uh, single player commands, Zom's mod pack, world edit, and too many items. I just started using the Buildcraft uh, about two months ago. Uh, me and a buddy are using it on a server. So if you want to subscribe to my channel and check those videos out, they're pretty funny. And uh, we use a lot of Buildcraft and Industrial Craft and Red Power. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Industrial Craft and Red Power do not... Uh, mixed with this mod yet, but they are working on it, so that'll be really cool when that comes out. And then also, too, like I said before, Better Than Wolves, uh, I've, I've used from uh, almost day one on my channel. So if uh, you go back through a lot of my videos, uh, you can see especially the, the UFO video uh, series is pretty much based around Better Than Wolves. And uh, I've got some tutorials on how to build elevators and all kinds of really cool shit like that. All right, one note before we begin, this is 1.1. I'm going to assume that when 1.2, all the mods are updated for that, this will apply the same, and I will update this video either in the title or I'll make a whole new video. So anyways, enough babbling, let's get started. In this video here, these are the mods that I'm using, and you're either going to have to overwrite your 1.1 if you have not updated yet, or find yourself a 1.1 uh, vanilla uh, Minecraft file. Okay, so let's go over the mods that we're going to be using. I always put a folder on my desktop to make it easy to find. Uh, we're going to be using the 3.3.1 Buildcraft, and all the links should be in the description. There's six jar files that uh, that you'll be needing, and those are real easy to install. Um, we'll also be using World Edit 1.1, and then Better Than Buildcraft 3-00, Better Than Wolves 3-52. Um, then you're also going to need MC Patcher 2.3.2, and then the latest Mod Loader, uh, and then Mod Loader MP 1.1 version 2. Single player commands 1.1.0 version 3.11, too many items 1201.12, and then Zom's mod pack version 510 MC 1.1. Okay, I stress this in all my modding videos. Back your shit up. Uh, if you've got your 1.1 and that's what you're on now, just go to percent app data percent and take your .minecraft folder and cut it and paste it on the desktop. Okay, normally you would start your game back up and it would automatically update your jar files. In this situation, if you're on 1.1, you do not want to do that because otherwise you're going to be working in the 1.2 environment and this mod will not work. Okay, I've already taken my 1.1 mod folder, uh, my .minecraft folder that is, and I've already put it in the roaming folder. Um, so anyways, we're just going to go ahead and assume that you did the same and you've already got your 1.1 vanilla uh, .minecraft folder in here. So start off with MC Patcher. Um, basically start that up it's pretty self-explanatory and we're gonna load most of it from here check better grass and uh, start adding your mods in click the little plus sign and then browse up here look in mine's in the desktop I've already got it found and then just start adding in each mod one at a time your minecraft jar off of this one on your better than build craft your better than wolves open that up um, you want the minecraft jar click OK click OK keep it uh, pushing the add button and put in mod loader OK, and then the next one you want mod loader MP and click OK, and then uh, your single player and too many and zombie we're going to put them in manually. Uh, so we're going to need the uh, 3.1 build craft. Put all six of these in one at a time and just keep adding them. And since 1.0 MC patch the order is supposed to not matter now, uh, but just put them in this order anyways. You can use the up and down arrows to uh, place the mods in the correct order. Um, I start with mod loader and you've got to make sure that's all the way at the top and then the next one is mod loader MP uh, make sure that's underneath mod loader and then the next one you want is better than wolves and you want that one uh, underneath mod loader MP and then build, better than build craft mod uh, you want this one down here uh, underneath the uh, the last build craft 3.13 uh, not, not below the HD textures, move it up one. Okay, right there, this is the order that you want. And once you have that, click Patch, click Yes, and then you can test it from right here. Uh, click the Test button and open it up. 
and single player, create a new world. Uh, we'll just go create it for now, create a new world. And as long as it starts up right here, everything should be good, and then we can go ahead and move on to the next part, and it does, so everything's fine. So uh, we'll just go ahead and close this out. Always make sure you close everything out, you know, as far as your game goes when you're modding, even from this point. Uh, close that out here, and close out your MC Patcher, and we'll continue. All right, too many items is actually loaded in twice. I put it in right here just to double check and make sure that the build craft items and all the uh, better than wolf items are in. Um, and if they are, then I, then I can continue modding. Um, and then I'll also put it in one more time because one of the files that we put in here in a minute will overwrite this too many items. So anyway, same thing, just uh, goes in the, the Minecraft jar file, not the 1.1, the newly created one. Um, just make sure that it goes in that file. Um, do not update if you're on 1.1 or it will just overwrite every damn thing that we just fucking did. Uh, click single player, new world, and play, and open it up. And if you press E and you don't see anything on the sides, press the O button on your keyboard and uh, you should see your too many items. And you can switch between creative mode, um, there's all your uh, build craft shit, um, and then your, uh, yeah, build craft shit, and then your better than wolves items, that's down here, like your light block and all that good stuff. And I'll stress one more time, close your game out before we continue modding. Okay, the next three mods that we're put in, we'll put in manually into the dot .minecraft jar, not the 1.1 here below that one. Uh, open this up, and then we're going to start with a single player commands. Don't worry about the world dot jar, world edit dot jar right yet. Grab everything else, and then the readme file, you don't need that at the bottom. Uh, drag this in manually, click OK, and then close that out. The next one is Zom's Mod Pack. Go to the Classes folder and grab all the class files and drop those in click OK close that out and then once one uh, one more time we're gonna grab the uh, too many items open that and do the same thing grab them all and drop those in alright now let's take care of that world edit jar from the single player commands take that and drop it into the dot minecraft bin folder not in the dot minecraft jar um, so make sure it's in the bin folder. All right, open up the actual jar file again, and now we're going to do the world edit. Go inside until you find the small little WECUI, and you're going to drop and drag that into the jar folder, and click OK. All right, and now we're going to close out the jar folder, and we're actually going to go into the folders themselves, go back to uh, where it says bin and mod. As, uh, the one that says mods, open that up and grab the large folder world edit CUI and copy and paste it in here because it's not a jar file so if you just move it over it'll actually move it and if you fuck up you can't get it back unless you re-download it so anyways make another new folder call it zomb z-o-m-b-e and this will be your zomb control folder open that up and then go back to your mods open up zomb's mod pack and open up the config folder this time and grab all these files and then just drop them and drag them into that folder and then close everything out and then we'll configure the Zom's mod pack. Okay, I actually forgot to configure it during this uh, recording, so I'm going to splice it out of uh, my last modding video. Everything ex is exactly the same, so just watch that. All right, now you're going to go back to the mods folder and open that and create a new folder called Zomb, Z-O-M-B-E, lowercase. You're going to open that up and then you're going to open the Zom's mod pack back up again and here you can see the uh, config folder, open that and grab all these text documents and drop them into the newly created ZOM folder. Okay, while we're in this folder, go ahead and double click on the config text document with notepad. And this is where we configure the ZOM's mod pack. The only ones that I worry about is the build mode and the fly. I just scroll down to the build and the little number sign right here next to build enabled. Just uh, delete that, that'll enable the build. And then I just scroll down to where it says digging speed and I bump that to four. And that's, that way the blocks, you know, smash quicker. And then distance where one can build, uh, I put that at 30. That way you can reach out further. And then scroll down a little further to fly mod. Enable that by deleting the number sign. And then you can leave these uh, letters here the same. I changed mine to capital J, capital N, capital M, just because that's what I'm used to doing. And then if you scroll down further, you can see all of the... The speed, speed enablers, you can speed them up and all that. The one that I worry about is whether no clip mode is enabled by default. 
and I just changed that from no to yes. Now, alrighty, kids, we're just about done. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, open up your game and make sure it loads. Uh, log in again. Do not update. Uh, and if everything's done right, and it is, it loads up. Click single player. Uh, go back into the uh, world that you created, and we'll go over some of the stuff that uh, that we just installed. Okay, open up your too many items and double check again to make sure it's all there. And it is. We have all your build craft stuff and all your better than wolves items are down here. And again, if you don't see it, press the O button and everything should be here. You can put yourself in creative mode or take yourself out of it. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's why I like too many items. Uh, the next one that we're going to look at is the fly mod. And because I changed the letters, I just pressed the J and my N and my M and I can float around all that good shit. Starting to lose my voice, sorry. <clears throat> Alright, the next one you'll see is when you click the uh, destroy button, your left click button or whatever the fuck you want to call it. You can't reach the, the blocks like we did. So if you just type T slash reach 30 and turn on your builder with the B button, now all of a sudden you, you can uh, go ahead and smash things out at 30 blocks away. So now we're going to go over the world edit. Grab yourself a wooden uh, wooden axe and put that in your inventory and select it. Left click to select the first block, right click to select the second one. And as you can see, you get a little grid pattern shows you where you're at. Double slash set zero, that actually deletes blocks, and you can go to the website and get all the different commands. Double uh, slash SEL cuboid, that deselects it. And then another thing is the fly mod again. Uh, the reason why I like Zoms is because the no clip enabled. Um, you can just fly down beneath the ground. Single player commands has it too, but it's a little chunkier and it's not as smooth as this, and you can't see all the good shit. Uh, so that's why I like to use Zoms mod pack. And the last thing that we're going to check is the Better Than Wolves. And I'm just going to set up a simple light block with some redstone and a lever. And shows you that it does work. And there's your Better Than Wolves. Alright guys, so that's it for this tutorial. If you got it to work, good job. If you didn't, go back and fucking do it again. Because it'll work. Uh, like I said before in the beginning, when 1.2 is completely updated, all the mods are, have caught up with it. I'll either update this video with a new one or I'll just update the, uh, the title. Uh, other than that, like I said, I appreciate you watching. Remember to subscribe down there so you can follow my new series and all my other uh, uh, Better Than Wolf tutorials and gameplay that I've done in the past. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.